Hi there, Karen from ediblewildfood.com and I'm sitting in the back corner of my yard. Over there I have some lovage and sweet Sicily, some new Swiss chard coming up, and here I have a pond that's in sad shape. Well actually the pond's not too bad, but the water lettuce is definitely not doing too well. But that's not because of natural conditions. Well, I guess it is natural. It's called raccoons. They come in here at night to play. But that's not why I'm doing the video. This is why. Kenopodium album. I've done a video before about lamb's quarters, but this time I want to show you the various stages of growth. So you can learn how to identify it out in the fields or roadsides or waste areas. That's a new growth right there coming up. And then this is getting a little larger. Although this one that you're looking at right now, dead center is only about an inch high. And a couple of others. And here, these ones are about three to four inches high. And now these ones here are about a good six to seven inches. As you can see, you don't have to have a garden. All you need is a pot with some good earth and lamb's quarters will grow. This is a versatile and very delicious leafy vegetable. It's related to several other vegetables, including quinoa. Now, of course, we have dandelion in here and the beginning of sow thistle or the annual sow thistle. This plant produces anywhere from 75,000 to 160,000 seeds. That's one plant. Gather those seeds and you can make yourself flower. This is a very common plant used in Indian cuisine, especially Northern India. And these are highly nutritious high in fiber, protein, omega-3, and six fatty acids. The leaves are also loaded with, get this, calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, manganese, zinc, copper, and selenium. Although the copper, selenium, and zinc, there isn't high quantities, but nonetheless, it's there. Vitamin A, C, B1, B2, B3, B6, B9. But like spinach, this green also has oxalic acid. So you need to be very careful if you are susceptible to kidney issues or stomach irritation. However, once cooked, the oxalic acid is no more. Eating it fresh is best. It doesn't stay well in the fridge for very long, maybe only a couple of days, or you could freeze it. And there's so many other things you can do with it, like pesto, and that way you can freeze it. A really cool, interesting fact is according to the Encyclopedia of American Food and Drink, the name Lamb's Quarters first appeared in American print back in 18, uh, just after 1800, I think it was 1804. There we go. And it was derived from the name of an ancient English festival called Lammas Quarter, the first harvest festival of the year held in August. An incredible nutritious plant. If you don't have a garden, do some container gardening. 
Thank you for watching, and thank you for your support. If you're a subscriber, I really appreciate it. And if you're not, please subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell to get notifications. Thank you.